Welcome back to The Witcher 3. I do believe we have a meeting to attend to. Let's hope I don't mess up my bow. Wouldn't want to be beheaded. I'm behaving. Don't worry. God, the Nilf Guardians must be incredibly wealthy. Just the armor alone. The armor is ridiculously just extravagant. In this place. I mean, look at this place. Look at the architecture. It's incredible. Shaganatuvin. Hmm. What if instead of following him, I just go over here? <laughs> I'm guessing this is locked. Mm-hmm. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Till shore if I. What if instead of following him, I went down here? Let me guess, it's locked. Yep. Ooh! <laughs> Great. I stole a mug from the Nilf Guardians. Now I feel like my life is complete. Wait, 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 what was that? Wait a minute, what was that? I just saw a thing pop up. Oh, I missed that. The Wild Hunt. Hmm. I do believe I feel like kind of reading that, depending on how long it is. Except, uh, apparently I cannot access my inventory at this time. That is unfortunate. I guess we'll have to wait. Is this going to be the guy voiced by uh, Charles Dance, I think his name is? I'm Grimmy at Art Kerzer. Dyfen Aden in Karn Eb Marvut. Emir Var Emreis. Bow. Ooh. Um. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian nomin vatgen favort. It is. That's him. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Look at how pissed off Siri looks in that painting. She looks so angry. 
to be wearing that dress. I feel like she just wants to rip it off. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me. Only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith! Take him to the sorceress. Follow me, if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace whom the gentleman disgusts. Need not bother. Mm hmm. Can I access my inventory now? Ah, I still can't. I guess I don't want you blowing up the place. I don't even think you could. Yeah, you can't even attack. You can't use your magic abilities. How does one hunt that sort of Griffin's thing in the morning? And it's past noon. Calm yourself. What? What? Do you know who you're talking you to, sir? I'm Herevard the Second, Prince of Elanda. Not only am I made to wait here like some supplicant, but who is the company? Looks like they're doing some construction there. Hmm, rusty bread knife. I'll take that. I'm breaking away. What's going on over here? Don't arrest me, please. Will someone explain to me why you are here? Because curiosity. God preserve you. Ooh, that feels good. Yeah. Oh, got an itch on my toe. Mmm. Just hit the spot. God, look at all the, this. <laughs> I really want the ability to zoom in in this game. Like, like seriously, zoom in. Look at how fucking good everything looks. Jesus, this game is unbelievably beautiful. What are you doing? Oh, you're a noble woman. That explains why you're not actually helping. Huh? Sorry. You're the one that bumped into me. She has many things to say. Can I sit in the throne? That would be funny if you could. Did he just have an orgasm? I better leave him to it. Hmm. Looks like the, uh, uh, stained glass window broke. Anyway, where was I? We crossed the Yara, we will cross the Ponta as well. Look at those vibrant flowers. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Can you feel the heat? That quill sharpened yet. Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild, but the church of the eternal fire and the criminal underworld. At times it is difficult to tell the one from the other. They both display a similar ruthlessness and cynicism that... Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. You know what? I'll write the report myself. You'll need only prepare a clean draft. In triplicate. 
He mentioned the... What did he say? The Church of the Eternal Fire. I remember that. Mostly from the original Witcher. Actually. I don't remember much about it. I just remember it. It's not stealing to take the book. Okay. I will gladly take it then. God, this equipment. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Why is this game so good looking? The lighting. The lighting, it's so good. Uh. Probably looks terrible on YouTube, but whatever. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And actually, that's a good launching off point to remind everybody that there is a high quality version of this episode available for download in the link of, uh, in the description of every episode. So, if you want to see the true beauty of this game, I highly recommend it. And, of course, if you have the, the patience and the internet and the storage space, since each episode is probably between 8 and 12 gigabytes, it is quite large. Ugh. It's like a chamber for growing clone experiments. A shame I have no time. I was thinking about reading some of those books, but there's so many of them. This entire episode would just be reading books. Geralt, that tunic. You look positively smashing. Ugh. Dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Emir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. <laughs> I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Ciri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri, using locating spells, haruspacy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the Hunt wishes to do with that gift, I'd... I'd prefer not to think about it, really. So where's Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. 
All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? It's a pretty good one. <laughs> Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. I'm pretty sure amnesia is a pretty good excuse for, you know, forgetting that you were in love with somebody, because you literally can't remember. <laughs> It is an awkward situation, though. I, I can appreciate that. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vell and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and... You really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Varatra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. I think we better go speak to him to figure out what happened, because I need to know more about the pulp. <clears throat> I need to, more, need to know more about the uh, political situation around here. Directly out of I mean, honestly, I could barely follow the storyline in The Witcher 2, so the chance of me being able to follow the storyline in The Witcher 3, which is even longer and probably windier, as far as the story goes, than The Witcher 2, which was relatively linear, um, the chance of me being able to follow the story is pretty low, but it doesn't hurt to make an effort. Ambassador Varatra, Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events. The war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. That map is so sexy, holy crap. Jesus Christ, show, show me a close-up again, please. Oh! Um... How's it going? How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edurn was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained, and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoys, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes. 
and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. What about Kavir? Kavir values its neutrality, enough not to lend its armies, or more importantly, even its coin to either side. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses, unprecedented even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Emir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. I'm not sure how deep I should dig here, because honestly, I'm not going to remember the specifics. Like blah blah blah, and this person's name at this location retreated and lended support to this other name that I won't remember. Um, I'm just going to remember the broad, the broad strokes of what's going on. What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skellige has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times, trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm -hmm. So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, We've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. Hmm. I advise you well. Avoid him. You don't get a name like the Bloody Baron for doing nothing. Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes, although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here, in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships, and Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather, well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance and scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. I have a vague recollection of the Church of the Eternal Fire being basically a cult. I don't know if that's actually true, but I have that feeling. Ooh, a letter that doesn't belong to me. Scar 
scars healed nicely. <laughs> I'm just gonna steal some apple juice, don't mind me. Uh, you didn't want to read that map, did you? Okay, fine. Let's get my equipment back. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my thing. That is a very loud plane flying overhead. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. <laughs> the Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. <laughs> Thanks, Bunches. <laughs> Sounded so the sincere. Emperor shall guide us to Novigrad. All right, so have I regained the ability to do stuff? Yes, I have. All right, I'm assuming everything's been put back in its place. No, it has not. Um, honestly, given where I'm at, I probably shouldn't even equip my swords, because I don't want to take them out. I don't think I'm going to be doing any fighting inside of here. Or at least I shouldn't. So I guess I'm actually going to leave them unequipped. Look at all these books, though. Hmm. Love. To love is to build a house of cards, or play a game of chess. But one wrong word or ill-thought move, and you must start it all afresh. Tide. Whenever I watch the tide recede, cold coils of fear grip round my heart. Will the seas sneak back, calm and sure, in the dark of night, as they have before? Or will they stay on distant shores, leaving crushed shells and washed-up dreams as memory of serfs of yore. I don't think I read that correctly. I believe that's supposed to rhyme with that, right? In the dark of night as they have before, as memory of serfs of yore. Mm. I'm sure there's an art to reading poetry, and I don't read poetry, so uh, I'm not good at the art. Let's read every single book before we continue. A Betrayal of the Elder... Mm hmm. <laughs> Just an option. Gwent, play me. Okay. Um, I did miss the tutorial Gwent guy though, so I kind of—it's been like three weeks since I ever played Gwent. I played Gwent when I was playing this game initially before recording. Um, sure. Default. That's fine. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. See if I can remember how this works. All right, it's gonna give me the tutorial again. Yeah, I played one game. Whoa. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I think we're good. Right, so you got battlefields, got leaders, cards, and stuff. All right, so I get to choose who I want to play. So each... I haven't played this game enough to really explain it, I, I think. Uh, you have three lanes, they have three lanes. So you can put melee people on the melee lane, like this one. You can put archer people on the archer lane and siege people on the siege lane. So I'm going to start out with a power one melee dude. So now the total strength of that lane is one, because his power is one. Now my opponent goes... Alright, they've got a power 2, which means the power in that lane is higher for them than it is for me, in my equivalent lane. So I'm going to want to bolster my melee to be stronger than their melee lane. So let's see, I've got a 5 power, which is kind of over the top. Unfortunately, this is the only other melee guy I have, so I think I kind of have to play it. Uh, that or one of these special cards. It's just the strength of all speech combat cards to 1 for both players. Irrelevant, don't have any, don't have any of those. 
sets the strength of all close combat cards to one for both players, so that would actually equalize our two things. Um, sure, let's do that. So now we're on equal footing here. Ah, uh, fortunately that is made irrelevant because they just played another. So I guess I'll just do this. Now we should be equal. Oh god. No, not more melee. I don't have any more melee. <gasps> Balls. Uh, okay, I think you have the ability to use your leader card like once and it's like super powerful. The only thing is I don't remember what it does. Pick an impenetrable fog card from your deck and play it instantly. Alright, let's do it. Give me melee. That didn't... Wait, I didn't get to pick a card. I don't get it. Give me my card! Where's my card? Oh, I'm fucked. Fine, have a siege weapon. Dick. Oh, they passed. Have an archer. I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen if they're more powerful than me in this lane, but I'm more powerful than them in other lanes. I don't really know what that means. Uh, I guess I'm going to pass. Oh, I won. Okay. I don't really understand this game. Have a siege weapon. So I just need to win, win one more round, and then I win the game. A strength 10 archer, holy crap. Uh, well, if I put all my archers together, I'll be able to defeat that. What does this do? That reduces damage of siege things. Uh, yeah, I've got to play all my archers. What did the flavor text on this guy's card say? Double or nothing, aim for his cock. <laughs> now that archer's been trained, right? Wait, what did that say? I aim for the knee, always. Ha, <laughs> Skyrim reference. What did that do? Removes all weather guards. Oh, gotcha. Alright, this is finally going to beat their archer lane. They just used their hero power. Unfortunately, I've already used mine, and I don't really know what it did. Um, so let's see. I am beating them on the archer lane, and I'm not beating them on the melee lane. And I have no melee guard, so there's no point in doing anything there. Uh, might as well just play this guy, I guess. And, uh, that's it. Looks like my total power is 22 compared to their 16, so I think that means I just win. I guess. Let's pass and see. I won the round, which means I won the game. Cool. And yeah, you can actually, it's actually a collectible card game. You can actually find them in the world by doing quests and things like that. Sweet. I won five... Horns? Crowns? Collect them all. Let's see if the noblewoman still has only one thing to say. She has even less things to say. Nothing. Ooh, I can pick plants. A deserter from the Skoya Tell. Don't mind me, I'm just a witcher running around with a torch in the gardens picking plants.
Make way. Win hard, we glad you. Es set in what can go out. To Velen, correct? So I can actually go to all of these places? Jesus Christ. Jesus, look at how big this is. This is the world. I took like eight hours just exploring White Orchard. Oh my god. And this is the... In Jesus Christ! <gasps> oh... This game is so big! Alright, where do I go to? Right here? Geralt and Yennefer were reunited. But something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar. And she was in danger. He was to find her, at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Five days later, so I guess it was a five days ride by horseback. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like his beard grew in. Five day beard. Look at those clouds. Also, somehow my Quen sign and Yurden sign power ups from the places of power have stayed even though it's been five days. It's pretty remarkable. About 5 p.m. Rainy. Come on, Roach. It's gonna be dark soon. Take it easy. Something down there. Whoa! Wild dogs. Eh, I don't feel like killing them. They're level one. Poor things. I just hope they don't smell the horse, so oh, I think they... Nope, they went back to sleep. Come on! The Nilfgaardian court martial has found us been guilty of a crime of desertion. Abandoned his weapon, dishonorably fled the field of battle. Sentenced to death. Go, go. Uh. Hey there. What the hell happened here? I know this whole place is burned down, but god, these flowers are pretty. Look at them. Hmm. Anyway, why is everything burned down? Eh? I guess she doesn't know. <laughs> Can you do that? I will take that and that and that and that and that and that. Ow!
You know, I thought this... I just kind of assumed this was the inn. I guess because the notice board is here. But I'm looking at the map and I realize I'm 400 steps away from the inn. So I'm actually not even close. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even close. I don't even want to go to the inn. I just want to go to the question marks. Let's see if there's anyone here who has a quest. Looking for exclamation marks. Actually, if there's any exclamation marks, it'd be on the map, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think it would be. Unless you have to walk, like, across them to see the exclamation marks. Like, proximity sort of thing. Nah, we're good. Alright. Screw it. I'm gonna go with a question mark. Hey I'm worried since I just got here that I might be under-leveled for this place, but we'll see. <laughs> oh. It looks like it's equipped all my swords and stuff, right? Yeah, so it automatically put them on. Cool. Hmm. Neckers. A large group of them. Hold on. Neckers are... Hurt by what things again? Augroid oil and northern wind. I probably don't have the stuff to make them, but let's check. I don't think I have the recipe for the oil. No. What about the northern wind? Or whatever wind. Nope, don't have it either. Okay. Quen it is. Oh shit, I think that's an elite a Neck and Warrior. Those are or Necker Warrior. Those are the exceptionally hard ones. Picked him off. Oh, I'm not done yet. Come here. Oh, that wasn't too bad. satisfying to dance around enemies. I've heard some people say the combat in this game isn't great, but so far it feels really good to me. Yeah, it just feels good to dance around enemies, and it's wonderfully satisfying when you hear hits actually actually meet. Like, there's, there's really nice feedback. a mine here or something. Are these a bunch of miners? Cavalry armor. Yeah, I think these are a bunch of miners or laborers of some sort. Let's see what's inside. Oh god, this place is spooky. Full set of diagrams for a full set of armor. That's a nice find. Hmm. 
Something is obviously down here. Oh, more Neckers. Thunderbolt, actually. Let's do some more damage. Yeah. Oh, that does way more damage. And I've upgraded my poisoning to the point where they actually get poisoned quite a bit. I think. Wait, no, that's only for oils, isn't it? Yeah, I thought my upgrade was only for oils. And Thunderbolt's not an oil. It's a potion. I'm not sure. I thought I said poisoning, though. Hmm. But yeah, it seems like uh, putting on Quen and taking a damage increaser like Thunderbolt and just kind of letting your Quen do its thing, and even though it's going to explode right away, just jumping into the middle of a bunch of Neckers and just kind of doing AoE damage seemed to be pretty effective. How big is this place? Oh, is there no local map? There is no local map. I have to use the mini map. Uh, were the Neckers making this? There. No soup for you. <laughs> There's a couple shoes on the ground around it. <laughs> I can imagine what the main ingredients were for that stew. Ooh, it's a relic. It's a good kind of ore, I think. Uh, a couple more mushrooms to get, but I think I'll just leave it there. Nice one, girl. Oh my god. Fuck me, that's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna end the episode here. Let's find a good place. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Um. I wanna stare at that. Does it look better up on the hill? Let's look at it with Roach. Come on now. Hmm, is that good? Uh, how about, yeah, sideways. I think sideways looks good. And can I disable the UI? Easily, without, like, unchecking a million things? Uh, gameplay? Uh, video? Rescale HUD? HUD? Uh, no, I'd have to uncheck a million things. It's fine. Let's let's leave it right, right there. All right. I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon. Enjoy the view.